everyone! So today I wanted to make a video showing you guys all of my collector's books about dolls that I have obtained in the past 5-6 years. So I am going to give a brief overview of these books and what I use them for and what I like about them, but if you want like the full in-depth perspective on them, what I think, and pictures of the pages inside, check out my Flickr, I'll link it below. I have an album just for these books. So this book is actually not about fashion dolls, but this was given to me, and it is about dolls, so I thought I would include it. It is the how-to book of international dolls. It's basically about the history of dolls, cloth dolls, things like that. I did read a huge portion of this, and I thought I'd actually share something from this book that I really liked. So in the introduction here, it says, A doll is basically a representation of the human form. Because it is the image of a person, a doll has a special magic, a personality of its own, to an amazing degree. There is something very potent and compelling about the images people make of themselves and their fellow human beings. Not only dolls, but portraits, puppets, idols, and statues retain and project something of their personality of the maker. And yet, they have a separate and distinct personality of their own. In the case of an old doll, the aura of the personality surrounding it can not only be that of the person given to the doll by its maker, but that acquired from the owner who cherished it. Somehow, even if we are alone with dolls, we don't feel quite alone. Perhaps that is why some people collect them and keep them on display. Dolls can bring memories of childhood. They can have a strange power to fulfill the need for companionship, even though they are inanimate objects. We can talk to them without feeling foolish, confident that we whis what we whisper to them won't be repeated. So I just thought that that was a really cool passage. I loved that when I read it. I feel like that really summarizes what I love about collecting dolls. And I know a lot of you guys can definitely relate to that. My favorite book, my holy grail, and I'm sure if you talk to a lot of people who collect Barbies, they will recommend this book. And this was actually the very first one in my collection. This is The Ultimate Barbie Book by Marcy Malilo. And I believe I got this on Barnes & Noble for like $7, including shipping, and it was in lightly used shape. It looked a lot nicer back then. I actually got this almost a year before I actually started buying physical dolls. So I really, really love this book. I use it all the time. And what's great about this book is I feel like it's equal. I don't feel like the author's personal bias is in this book. And in that sense it does lack some kind of like personality. And basically the layouts of the pages are like a photo of the doll box and of their headshot. And I actually kind of got the idea for my Flickr guide from this book of like that really basic format. Of course I added in personal stuff about my dolls because that's really important to me about my collection. But I like how this book has a really straightforward format and it has most of the Barbies and all of the Barbie affiliates. So Ken, Skipper, Stacy from the beginning all the way till 1994 and there are some dolls from 1995 in here and it even has collectors books and store, um, collectors dolls and store specials and stuff. This was the best purchase I ever made in terms of doll books. I love it. So this is the Disney Dolls book by Margo Rana. She's probably my favorite author. This was a book that actually inspired me to get back into collecting them and that's why I'm showing it to you right now. And within a few months of getting this book I bought Disney dolls and the rest is history and now here we are on a thousand splendid dolls with 2,600 plus. So we can thank this book. I think it's very useful if you're into Disney dolls made by Mattel. There, there aren't any from off brands. These are all Mattel. So I'll show you kind of like what the spreads look like. They're really nice. The pictures are huge and she also knows a lot about variation and she does have like variations fashion packs and play sets and these are organized in alphabetical order by movie really easy really straightforward the only part that is different is at the back is where she has the foreign section really if you're gonna collect early 90s mid 90s disney dolls by mattel this this has like all of them it doesn't have the minis like the mini perfume princess sort of dolls but it has like the guy dolls, the girl dolls, the fashion packs, the play sets. This is, this is a must if you like Disney Mattel dolls and you want to know about them. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I think I got this one off Barnes & Noble and I want to say that this was like less than seven bucks too. This one is uh, 30 Years of Mattel Fashion Dolls by J. Michael 
Augustiniac. This one was a little bit more money. I got this on eBay. I think I paid close to 20 bucks for this, but it's the only book that I know of that covers things like the Hart Family, Jazzy Dolls, Celebrity Dolls. This has a lot of great ones. Um, I actually have a list of the contents on my Flickr. I have a picture of this page, I believe. So if you want to know specifically the dolls featured in here, it's very well documented. I'll show you the Hart Family section. That's actually why I bought this book because I, it's hard to find pictures of them. A lot of these dolls are actually like the Hart Family section shows. So it, it goes on for several pages. So he has like all the different variations and things like that. And I feel like he has a very in-depth knowledge of the dolls, like the head molds they used. And he'll even talk about like um, in the Disney section about the Tyco dolls a little bit, which is neat. So then another one of his books that I like is the Barbie doll photo album. Bad news, this one is kind of hard to get a hold of. I had paid like I think $50 for this, which I have seen it cheaper. It only retailed for $30, but it is hardcover, and that's because it was only in print for like a year or two. This is the Barbie doll photo album, also by Augustiniak. And the reason why I wanted this book is, for some reason, everyone who wrote Barbie books decided that after the 90s, we're done, it's not interesting, we're not writing any more books about Barbies, there is like barely any information on like the late 90s and the 2000s dolls, if you but this is the only one that I know of that has dolls from the 2000s. It goes all the way from the beginning to 2009 as it said, so like this is like a 2005 spread. This is not an identification guide, this is more just like a picture book that shows some of his favorite dolls, so obviously it is kind of biased in that sense, but there are tons and tons and tons of dolls featured in here. This is great, you know, if there's beach lines, there's a lot of beach lines in here. So another book that I really like is Collectibly Yours by Margo Rana. I think I got this on eBay or maybe Barnes & Noble, I don't know, it was like less than 10 bucks. It's hardcover, and this covers just the 1980s Barbies. I'm a big 80s Barbie buff. If you've watched my 60s, 70s, and 80s Barbie collection, you'll know how passionate I am about them. That's my favorite decade of Barbies to collect. Don't ask, I don't know why. But this one has like different variations, and it's almost like this has sort of inspired my Flickr guide. Um, on my Flickr, I take pictures of all the different country makes of Barbies I have. So if I have one from Indonesia, Malaysia, China, I'll photograph them. And I got the idea from her book. Because I really like that, because some dolls look so different depending on the country that they're made in. And she has the same nice descriptions, oh this is a really good example, like of all the different variations. So the next book is 90's Barbies by Maria Martinez Esquera. It's a very small looking book, but don't be deceived, there is a ton of information in here. So just like the book I showed you before, this only covers one decade, but it actually doesn't cover the entire 90s. It only covers up till 1997, and it doesn't have Barbie's family like Skipper and Ken or Kelly or Stacy. It does, however, have her friends, and it's organized really interestingly. It's organized by hair color, and this book is like super to the point. Like there is no messing around with this book. It's literally like a picture of the face, of the doll in the box, and then what I like about this book is you get dolls in this book that aren't in the Ultimate Barbie book because that book stops around 94, 95. Then we have this bad boy. This is the only one, I believe, in my collection that came from the flea market. I think I paid five or ten dollars for it. There is a whole series of books by this author about Barbie fashions, so this is Barbie Fashion Volume 1 from 1959 to 1967 and it's by Sarah Sink Eames. These books are super popular among um, collectors of vintage dolls and I can see why. They have a lot of information and I think the books go up through the late 70s. It documents Barbie's fashion packs from these years. And I do like the detail about variation and packaging and all that stuff. And it also has Ken and Skipper fashions and her friends fashions from these years too. So it's not just Barbie. Then I have another book here that focuses on a specific time frame. So this is called The Barbie Doll Boom. This is another J. Michael Agustiniak book. This is from 1986 to 1995. And this book is just okay. I 
was kind of expecting more out of it but the pictures are really small there's no headshots it's just dolls in boxes and because of that I feel like all of the dolls featured in here are in the Ultimate Barbie book. More. However, the one bonus to this book is I do like that it actually shows the ethnic variations like all together. That's hard to find in Barbie books. I'm glad I didn't pay much for it. Less than $10. I think I got this from eBay. So then we have yet another Augustiniak book. This is one specifically on collector's editions and I think this is the most up-to-date modern book on Barbies yet. So this goes up to 2008 and it's basically about like collector's dolls and I'm pretty sure there's facial close-ups of every doll. There's also pictures of like the hair color variations and ethnic variations. I personally wouldn't recommend buying like all of the volumes of this book because his information gets really repetitive. I'll talk about that more in a minute with some other books I have by Augustiniak. But it is great if you like collector's Barbies. These are kind of on that idea of the last book I showed you. These are two more by Augustiniak. These are both about store exclusives, so these are Barbie exclusives and more. So this is the first edition and this is the second edition. And I believe there's a third edition as well. The second edition includes 1999 and 2000. And this one includes, I believe, 1998 and older. But... The reason why I purchased both of these was because I was told, based on what I read, how they advertised these books, that they had different information, that you needed to have like all the volumes to have all the information. And in retrospect, I really wish I hadn't because I had to get both of these off eBay and I think they were like 10 or $15 each. And honestly, like all of the information in this book is more or less repeated. I don't believe that any of the dolls in here are omitted from this book and you can tell like they're more or less the same width. This one's a little bit heavier so there's a little bit more in here and that makes sense because it only covers a few extra years. But it's all the same pictures and if you look in my Flickr album at my collector's books you'll see what I mean like same photos, same description. So if you're gonna buy these books just pick the newest one because then you're getting the widest range of years. This is great because it has store exclusives and like Playline store exclusives too. This has collector's Barbies in it, but it has tons and tons of um, Playline dolls. And my favorite part about this particular like book series is the fact that it includes fashion packs and like a lot of fashion packs. So like store exclusive fashion packs. So like you can see here, which is great if you're trying to identify Best Buy fashions and whatnot. And I actually use this book, this particular edition, because it has more dolls in it, a lot. I have two more books that are on the same idea, but they're by Margot Rana. So they're her equivalent of Barbie exclusives. And you'll see they're much thinner and they're paperback. But what I like about her books is you do need both volumes. So this one is like all of the exclusives up until a certain year, I'm not sure what. And the photo quality is really big and this is great for ID, like you wouldn't need to look up extra pictures of these dolls to identify them. And there are like a few like play sets and things in here as well. His are better for um, if you're looking for a lot of information on exclusive play sets and fashion packs, but for the doll pictures themselves, these are better, but those do cover newer dolls. And then this volume, though, uh, volume 2, has Toys R Us dolls and Dolls of the World, as well as festival dolls and I guess some customized dolls of sorts. This one you need because they're not featured in the other book. And these were really cheap. I got these on eBay, I think in, in a lot together maybe for like 10 bucks. I, I don't really remember. It's been a while, but there's all of the variations. And I think she pictures the variations, like the AAs and stuff together which is great, and Ken and Skipper in here, are in here as well, as they are in the Augustiniak versions. I do recommend these, but if you're looking for like more coverage in terms of years, I would say go for Augustiniak's books because all of these dolls are more or less in those books. And then I have this little book, this next few are more like picture book kind of things. So I got this as like a freebie with some books I bought online 
It's called the Visual Guide to the Ultimate Fashion Doll. It doesn't have any authors listed. And basically it's just like a little cute picture book. You can see like it's all like scenic and the dolls from basically the 60s up until the early 2000s. There's like assortment of them in here. They're not all in here but it, it like breaks down her fashions and like play sets and things. It talks about how Barbie's changed and ordinarily like I wouldn't say that this would be really great for be really great for identification but what makes this book so awesome is that on every page every single page so like this one you can see here it has like all these fashion packs and Barbies there is an index at the back that on every page it tells you the dolls and the fashion packs including stock numbers and dates and this is Barbie dolls and collectibles from 1981 to 1991 by Beth Summers I was accidentally sent this instead of I believe the Barbie doll boom and the seller ended up telling me that I could keep it if I just paid the shipping for it and um, this one's okay. It's sort of like a picture book, but it is set up for ID. It's not comprehensive at all. It has decent pictures, like the picture quality is, you know, decent. It doesn't have a lot of facial close-ups or anything, but it does have sections at the back of the book that cover things like pets and um, there's even sections on paper dolls if you're into paper goods, coloring books all sorts of stuff. I listed out on my little like review on Flickr. Uh, but honestly, I'm glad I didn't actually really pay for this book because I don't understand the way this is organized. Like, this isn't organized. It's only organized in the back where it breaks up the like play sets and paper dolls. But literally, you open the page and there is like dolls from 1982 then it goes to 1988 1989 back to 1985 like they're just thrown on the pages and then i have this guy i lied this is one i got from the flea market for like five bucks this is just a glorified picture book so it basically has like really long passages all about like the thought process behind barbie and how she's evolved and how her fashions are inspired and all of that but it does tell you in some detail in these little notes next to the pictures who the dolls are and like what they're wearing it's just the four decades of fashion fantasy and fun by marco tosa this is probably my least favorite of all of my books don't buy this book it's it's really unless you want a picture book this is barbie what a doll by laura jacobs it's very misleading it says including fashions and all of that jazz so you think it's about like Barbie's fashions and you know it has big pictures but number one these pictures are all just recycled from like old trading cards none of these are her own pictures they're literally just like like those little fashion if you look on eBay and you type up a certain fashion or a certain doll there will be those little like trading card things that's what the pictures are and literally they, they, there's no they're not labeled these pictures aren't labeled you don't know what doll is wearing them and you don't know what outfit they're modeling it gives you a year and it doesn't tell you at the back there is no index it's literally just a pretty picture book and the year that she uses are release dates so it's not like you can search it up by box date because sometimes box dates and release dates are different they usually are so honestly, I really don't recommend this book. I think I spent like six or seven dollars on this. So that was just a brief overview of my books. Like I said, if you want to know more about each specific book and what kinds of things they feature and more about the pros and cons of how they're organized, I have a lot more details on my Flickr account. But if I tried to talk about each book in great detail, this video would literally be an hour long and no one wants to sit there and listen to that. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.